What's up guys, Dale here and today I just wanted to make a quick video discussing something that came to mind um, recently because I was playing Dokkan Bound and I, you know, the new uh, Gogeta banner came out and then I went into something and then I thought about Gogeta and then I thought about Super and I thought, oh yeah, why didn't they bring him into Super and well, if, is there any reason why they would and would not bring him in? So I just wanted to quickly talk about it now. But let me start off with saying that there is evidence that there could they could include Gogeta as a character in Super because in well, in one way or another because of you know um, Kale because she technically like it or not is Broly basically that that's their way of bringing Broly into the canon, making him a new character with um with a different backstory and some actual you know. Well, I would say development. Kale has some kind of development. It's not deep, but she has some kind of development as a character. And so, you know, they use her as a way to introduce that legendary Super Saiyan into the series. And I thought maybe they would do the same for Gogeta, but I think they will still keep it as Goku and Vegeta, obviously, but somehow move it into the story. And, um, you know, another reason could be that, you know, they did make an effort to show that Ke Kefla's earrings broke. And maybe it would be like a kind of thing where they thought, oh, we could fuse, but the earrings are gone and Beerus doesn't want to give us earrings. I mean, that could be like one of the excuses, like, you know, why wouldn't Beerus just give them the earrings or, you know, the Supreme Kai or whatever, give them earrings. But maybe they'll use that excuse to say, hey, Beerus is not giving us earrings. We couldn't... um take the earrings from Kefla so let's just fuse but then when I think about it, I think about Vegeta and would he do the I mean this show doesn't take itself too seriously so I think it would be a kind of a gag where Vegeta would say I'm not going to do the dance so we're not going to fuse so you know I think they might like tease the viewers and say that hey then we might get Gogeta and then actually not having because Vegeta refuses to do the dance um but you never know because uh Dragon Ball Super kind of it, it does this thing where it kind of uses nostalgia to kind of um get us to get hyped during the episodes because there's, there's many occasions in Super where it kind of brings back things from Dragon Ball Z that we know to kind of, you know, you know, and it, and it's a nice feeling to see those old things that we used to love about Dragon Ball Z come back in Dragon Ball Super. So you never know, they might, you know, add it to the show to give some kind of um variety because, you know, we already saw Vegito Blue and we've seen, we've seen all this, this new fusion between two people I mean, to between um, Cauliflower and Kale, and um, other other universes try to fuse. Maybe other other universes will still fuse. Who knows? But um, I think that would be a very interesting character to introduce because we don't know actually how strong uh, Gogeta would be. Apparently, it's been said that the Batara fusion is stronger than the uh, the fusion dance, but maybe doing the fusion dance kind of brings different abilities to the table and you know it'll be their chance to kind of explore the character of Gogeta and give him some new things to do um in you know in in Dragon Ball Super but right now as it stands I'm thinking on the side of possibly not but we could see something and I hope we do because I mean I still want to see Vegito. I, I I still wanted to kind of see Vegito versus Kefla because I think Kefla because they kind of are somewhat the same character. I just Kefla is just kind of a little bit different. No, I don't think she's that much different. She's just like literally the female version of Vegito. So um, that would have been a cool conversation between the two. But um, I want to see how Gogeta would act because he in the movie he kind of seemed calm, but then he didn't. He, he was like he laughed at the end after he beat Janemba when the guy ran away from him. And we never actually got like him having a conversation with someone. So, you know, I wonder what he could do, you know, um, and he's very he looked very acrobatic when he was fighting. So that could be like a different fighting style. So um, you never know. Dragon Ball Super is full of surprises at this point. So they could just toss it in and <laughs> we just have to accept it. But and I will, I will really enjoy it. But yeah, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Will we see Gogeta in Dragon Ball Super? And if so, how do you think it's going to come about? Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all later. Peace.